Good evening, everybody, and welcome to It's a Kind of Magic, the show about magic and magical people. My name is Riyakhat Lerbsha. As always, I am your host and magician. Yes, I am a magician. Where have you been if you have no idea what I'm talking about? No, I'm just joking. So, obviously, being a magician, I do perform card tricks quite often, but I haven't done a proper card trick on the show yet. So today, I am going to do it. On the table over here, I have some cards, and you'll notice I have one, two, three, four aces. One, two, three, four aces. Ace of clubs, ace of spades, ace of heart, and eight of diamonds. Some people always get confused with these two. It's very easy to remember. The ace of clubs looks like chicken feet or puppy feet, and then the ace of spades looks like a spade. So what's going to happen is I'm going to deal three cards onto each of these aces. Okay, obviously got a deck of cards over here. So how about, you know, well let's do it like this. We're going to go one, two, three, one, two, three, and you guys know the drill now. Now to make it a little bit difficult for me, let's remove the entire deck of cards. We'll just pop it in there. So here comes the magical part. I want you guys to really pay attention now. This, these cards will just slip under there, under there, so I can't switch it out now. Now watch here. And I'll do this very slowly, so there's no cheating. The Ace of Spades goes more or less in the middle of the deck. If I snap my fingers once, and I snap my fingers twice, making this trick twice as snappy, the Ace of Spades has completely disappeared. Wow. 10-9 Jack Queen. Where's the Ace? No one knows. Right, let's do it again. We'll leave those over there. We'll take the Ace of Hearts. Goes in the middle. I'll give the cards two taps. One hot and one cold. Again, the Ace of Hearts, like the Ace of Spades, disappears. No way! Two, Queen, three, five. Where, oh where, is the Ace? I don't know. We'll leave them right over there. The last one, the Ace of Diamonds, tend to be a little bit more difficult, so I'll do it again. You guys know what to expect now, so keep your eyes on the Ace of Diamonds. Watch. No, it's still there. It's still there. I'll do a little bit of a magic move over here. There's the magic move. And the Ace of Diamonds is gone. No, it's not up the sleeves. Definitely not. I'm not that good. Now, keeping in mind, I've got cards over here. The Ace of Clubs, all three of the other Aces jumped and they joined the Ace of Clubs, just like that. Wow, that is magic. Right, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to announce my guests for today. We have sort of a theme besides magic and magical people today. It's regarding balloons. Yep, balloons. It's a very proud moment for you guys. Or for me, not for you guys. Well, it's going to be a proud moment for you guys. It's a proud moment for me. I would like to announce my wife, Marianne Lopesher. <laughs> Woo! And she's stealing my limelight already. <laughs> Normally on this show, you know, I, I, I shake or I, I hug. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go in there. <laughs> So guys, Marianne, welcome. Thank you. It's a pleasure being here. Thanks for having me. I need to say, she's part of the show. She does creative content for me. And as you guys can see, there's a monkey on her arm. Hey, yeah, so... so when I, whenever I miss you, you know, I just have a little pet here. Looks alike. It looks alike. The ears are... <laughs> Jeez, thank you very much. So we're going to chat and have some fun regarding balloons. Um, I have a challenge for her, maybe. We have to wait and see. So we, let's first move over to the interview section. Sure. I'm going to ask her all sorts of questions. And she can't say no. She's going to have to answer to everything. Correct? Mm -hmm. I can't wait. See, she's doing it already. She's doing it already. Marianne, let's, let's go. Let's go. <music> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls and all the others, I am going to take this opportunity with both hands and I'm going to ask my wife, I'm going to actually put her on the spot now and ask her questions that she normally would never reveal to me. 
How many brave boyfriends have you had in the past? Only you. You are the only boyfriend. You are life. lying on the air. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Only one boyfriend for me. Second question. <laughs> Who's the best magician ever? Oh my goodness. That would be me. Fee. <laughs> No, I'm just joking. <laughs> it Wonderful. Was quite, a, quite a trick to get you on my side. So, yeah. <laughs> All this balloon. Guys, I just need to, obviously, it's my wife. She started doing balloons when she met me. Correct. But I need to, I need to confess the following. I can do a few balloons. I can't do any one of these. <laughs> what, what, what do you have over there? It's a... This is my friend. This is a monkey. So... It's a family? Like uh, in-laws? Yeah, in-laws, definitely. My in-laws. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So whenever I do uh, balloon twisting workshops or festivals or events, then I make myself a little friend like this one. And the kids just love to watch him while I make a little some... But the adults also? The adults as well, of course, yes. So uh, my little friend travels around with me and he normally lasts about two to three hours. And then, um, yeah. Okay, right. Be before we get to the balloons, though, um, for the obviously I know everything about you. <laughs> but so... You were you are originally from Swellendam? I am, yes. So from I'm uh, from the from the Plas, from a small town called Swellendam, and then um, moved to Cape Town after school. Started working, and and that was it. Yes, and then I met you. <laughs> life changing. Experience. It definitely was life changing. Ah! So as you know, I was in um, a corporate hotel for 13 years. Yes. And um, when I met you, this was. Here comes this magician. Nobody ever thinks that they're going to meet a magician, uh, let alone marry one. And then I had to tell my dad, who's from the farm, um, that I met a magician and this is my boyfriend and I like him actually. So, so that was one challenge. And, um, and then, yeah, um, you were the reason that I got into this. Okay, but brother, hang on. Mm. Enough about me now. Be be sure. Before this, you, you started doing... Face painting? No, I did Was it balloons first. before the face it painting? It was balloons first. So balloons was my first thing. Actually, I did a little bit of uh, character work where I was the Easter bunny as well. <laughs> and I had to <laughs> roam around. <laughs> I forgot I'll about never forget. This. I was so sick. I had the flu and I was so sick. But I had to get up and do Easter bunny walking around the casino for two hours. You're sweating it out. So afterwards, you feel fantastic. Now you're healed. You are healed. And you get home, you're like, oh my goodness, I've got no wait, 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 energy left. And, and you did Snow White for me as well, I wasn't it? Wasn't that, bef that That was after the Easter Bunny. Yeah, that was after the Easter Bunny. So I was originally the Easter, I was the first Easter Bunny at the casino. And um, the, the legit one. Because course, course we, we used to do programs at the casino, the holiday programs. Yes. Um, yes. A few of my guests, Louis and Lee and Cebu, they were also before, part of the, the programs we do then. You were also yes. one of the original members. Uh, yes, I've been with the casino for about eight years yeah, now. Yeah, the programs we part did Part of there. the program, yeah. So you did, you did the Easter Bunny and like character mm, work for a me. A lot of character work, yeah. And then you, in, you saw the balloons. Why, I saw the balloons. Why balloons? I loved it. Um, I don't know. I think one time um, you and I actually went on a date and instead of real flowers, you gave me balloon flowers. And I thought, hi, how cute is that? <laughs> <laughs> so I wanted to try it and obviously I wanted to beat you so um, I'm not competitive but I thought I'm gonna be now and I tried making balloons and I think I spent one whole night with a packet you back then you got a packet of 300 balloons now it's okay. only 100 yes and I spent my whole night actually a whole weekend I think just folding balloons and at the end of the weekend I could make one puppy and I was so happy with this puppy I was posting pictures on Facebook this one little deformed puppy that I could make I remember um, that. But yeah, I think balloons, it's just, it fascinates everyone, not just children, like you said, adults as well. So it fascinates everyone, and it doesn't matter if you make a simple puppy, if you make a sword, and actually those are the two most requested balloons. Yes. No one is going to ask me for a monkey to hold on their, their arm. When no. they see it, they want it. Yeah. But they want a sword and they want a puppy. That's what they want. And it's amazing. And everyone would just watch and, oh, and wow, and oh, and I can never make it. Yes, the balloons still pop in my face. It happens a lot. Yeah. Um, it doesn't mean because I can make a few twists and turns, they don't pop, they do. But um, after the first pop, you're done for the day and then you go, you know, I mean, then no pop tour will we'll stop you again. I remember the difficult thing for me was, and I think for you as well, if I remember correctly, the proportion 
Yeah. The, so you, your, let's say you make a dog, but it ends up that the, the ears are longer than the back yeah. legs. That's the, that's the main thing. Yeah, so that can happen. That can happen. And even now still, I mean, if you use a different balloon than what you've, you've used before, mm -hmm. a different make or model, um, you know, they feel different, they bend differently. Um, you have to practice a little bit. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, yeah, you're going to make a poodle, but it's going to look like, you know, a giraffe maybe even. These balloons, obviously, it, it is normal balloons, yeah. but, but the quality is slightly better than those you buy in the normal yes. grocery store. Yes. Am I yes. correct? Yes. So because sometimes people there, they buy these packets you get at all these grocery stores, yeah. and the moment you pump it up, it just it will pop. Yeah. Now these are, it's, it's still... It's normal balloons, yeah. What I love about it, it's environmentally friendly. Okay, so that's important. Yeah. So um, if they do pop, you know, and you can't find it wherever it popped, it will, uh, it's biodegradable, so that's fine. So, but yeah, these balloons are very high quality okay. because, I mean, you do work under pressure. Yeah. Um, hot days, they go thin a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, cooler days, they'll harden a little bit, but they're still versatile, you can still work with them. So very easy to work with, but it's not the balloons that you'll get at a crazy store or at a supermarket. Yeah, um, cause, uh, because better. those balloons are fine if you they're have a party. Fine. It's just for modeling, it's a bit more difficult. For modeling, it's difficult. You, you can still model can? with them, but yeah, it's, yes. it's to, to make, make these stuff. type of things. Just okay, show us the mermaid. Yeah, yeah. so we call her Felicia, this the is the little mermaid, Ariel. Yeah, so or she's Ariel. got a long little tail. She's even got a bikini on, her red hair. Yeah. Look at this, eh? And the girls love her. And the boys as well. <laughs> We also make them, um, you know, when Frozen was such a big hit, yes. still yes. is actually, yes. we would make Elsa um, figurines uh, or balloons. Really? With her blue oh, dress. Really? Yes, yes, yes. I had a twin birthday party. Did I book you out for events like that? I did myself. I get my own game. <laughs> so no, I had a twin birthday party and it was Elsa, so I had to make two Elsas. And then what happens is... Normally the friends see these awesome balloons yeah. Yeah. and then everyone wants the Elsa. Yes. And I mean, this takes about, I'm not the fastest balloon twister out there. So this would take me about 10 minutes and you can imagine 15 screaming girls wanting yes. Elsa or yes. little mermaids. You're there the whole afternoon. But I, I, I find this that certain balloons, orange balloons, when you pump them up, they tend to be a little bit longer. Longer, than, yeah. yeah. Uh, the orange and I think white as well. White as well. Yeah. yeah. I don't know why. Mm. That's true. But also black balloons, they're a little bit more tough. So yeah. Yeah. sometimes they don't fall to like about the blue ones, in my opinion. I love working with the blue balloons. They're beautiful also. There's light blue and dark blue. There's light blue and dark blue. Yeah. Okay, I we'll, we'll show, show you we'll guys show blue, blue the, the difference. I know the difference between light blue and dark blue is the grip. <laughs> She hears these uh, it's, it's not the first time she heard that joke, but thank you, but thank this you for laughing. Does my laugh sound authentic? <laughs> I'm joking. Cut, cut the I'm camera. Joking. I'm joking. Okay, yeah. So certain balloons that uh, they longer for some yeah. reason. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, don't, I don't know it's why. It's just what it is. It's, it's, it is yeah. what it is. Um, so, so between, because obviously we're speaking about balloons here, but between balloons and face painting, which you do quite often, mm. this, do you prefer balloons or? I, you know, I like both. Um, it's a nice combo. It's a nice combo to have, and sometimes, at especially when I do birthday parties, I do both. So nice. normally, I have a I dress up. I've got a little tutu that I wear with some colourful socks. You've got a, a, a character. A character, yeah. I dress up as a character. Um, she's called Tootsie. And um, I used to wear a pink wig as well, but that's just, it's so warm. So now I just do my hair a little yeah. bit. Yeah. And, um, and it works for both kids' parties, for girls, boys, everything. People love it. So um, I dress up as Tootsie and then I'll go and I'll do some face painting and some balloon twisting. Yeah. And, yeah. Um, and it just adds a, a, a nice special element to the day as well. The amazing thing about balloons, the basic shapes. Yeah. Yeah. As you know, you start off with a sausage dog and a giraffe yeah. Yeah. and whatever. If you can do that, it's like riding a, a, a bicycle. Oh, absolutely, yeah. When you can make your first few twists and turns Maybe and you know, you know what knots to make and what's the apple twist and all of that, then you can kind of figure out anything. Yeah, yeah. the I mean, apple twist. Sorry to interrupt you. Do, do we have an apple twist here uh, somewhere? No, not on these. <laughs> okay, no, okay. No, no, but no. an apple twist we'll yeah, show yeah. you guys in the performance That's section. That's generally when you make a flower or yeah. a little, yeah. when you make a yeah. pig's yeah. little nose or something. Yeah. That's the apple twist. So. It's an apple twist. Yeah. Okay. Um, because, yeah, it's, it's like riding a, a bicycle, but when it comes to these type of things, we need to remember, and a good balloon twist, and I can't do this, but she, she can do this. You can imagine there's a few basic folds, and you can, like, in your head, you can, okay, if I put this shape with this shape, I can build something. Yeah. Yeah. 
I can't, I said, no, I, I but can't. But listen, do it's it. practice. I mean, it's practice and yeah. it's YouTube tutorials. I remember, yes, a couple of years ago, it was our friend Lee the Mime. It was his birthday. Yes. yes. And I really just got into balloons and you asked me, I must make him a mime balloon. Yes. Do you remember that? Yes. yes. Uh, sorry, I play touch, touch rugby in the league and I play for the Valon. And you made me I a made Valon. I made you a wild dog as well, yeah. So, so you, you made the mime, you made the Valon. Yeah. You even made a smurf for me I once. made a smurf for you. I made a racing car for a yes. special birthday that we had. Yeah. Um, there was another one I can't recall. That's amazing. Uh, so yeah, I mean, even if there's special yeah. requests, like for a birthday yeah. or a year in function, or someone asks me, oh, we worked at a hotel once. Again, you, me and Lee. Yeah. And they had a launch this of some product. And it was a little robot. And I had yeah. to make, I think, a hundred of these little robots. Yeah. <laughs> It's cool because for specific themes you can, you can custom make something if it's a if it's a corporate or a kids party Absolutely. or a festival. Okay, but I have a challenge for you. Thinking yes. about custom making something and doing something special, I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna test you in a moment. Oh sure. Okay. I'm so ready. Can you maybe? I know you used to writing checks. <laughs> no. so, so if you can just put you can put your telephone number in there for me. You've got it. You want to flirt with me? I have a husband. Uh, am I doing a, a good job though? Yes, I'll, I'll grudge you later. So, so yeah, so, so we're going to move over to the challenge, uh, the performance section of the show rather. I'm going to challenge her to uh, do a few things and then maybe at the end I'll even do a trick magic with balloons. Who knows? So, let's do it. Right, so I am going to challenge you, my wonderful wife. Sure. I'm going to love this. Here's the challenge. Mm -hmm. I'm going to give you 60 seconds. Yeah. But I'm going to work with you on this now. We're going to have to work together. Okay. We've been married for 70, I mean, si seven years now. <laughs> so we're going to have to work together. 60 seconds. Uh -huh. You have to make... No, put down the balloon. Put, 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 put. Be uh, well. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> 60 seconds, you have to make a giraffe and a dog. Oh, sure. okay. and Part of that 60 seconds, I will make a snake. Very difficult. Our magic consultant off screen, Pete, Pete, are you there? Yes. He's there. <laughs> um, he's going to say 60 seconds, and then 30 seconds, and then 10 seconds, and by five, you need to be okay. done here. Sure. I need to make the snake. Cool. Are you ready? Right. Okay. On your marks. Get set. Go. Woo, she's sweating, she's sweating. Go, go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Give it there, give it there, give it there. We have a dog, we have a dog, we have a dog. We have a dog. Put the dog on the table. Roll over. What are you making now, huh? This is a giraffe. Yes, it's a giraffe. How many seconds? Spit. Not even 30 years. Yeah. <laughs> there we go, I'm done. Did you need more time? Jeez. Need 30 seconds. <laughs> Okay, no, no, we, so we still got, got, got um, 25 seconds, I think, left for, 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 for my snake. Okay, well, I can warm up so long. Ugh. Okay. Are you ready for this? Sure. This is going to be absolutely amazing. Yeah. Snake coming up. How many seconds? Ten. Ten. Five. Six, two, it's a snake! Joke. I it's bad yeah. jokes. <laughs> no, you know, you know what? Let's 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 do something t together. You can oh, put sure. you can put our, our children back in the cage there. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna okay. How about because swords are very popular yeah. amongst boys. You get normal swords and you get pirate swords. Yeah. She'll make the pirate sword and I'll make the normal sword because <laughs> I can't make a pirate sword. <laughs> And then you guys can decide which sword is the best. I, I, I will bribe you guys. So, are we going to do it at the, at the same time? Sure, mine takes longer. I know, you, you're, of course, it's, it's quality and quantity. Okay, so, okay, go, for your, go for your pirate sword, because I can't do it. So, I'm going to take some, some tips here. Sure. No, I lost it already. Okay. Oh, my word. So guys, while she's doing this, obviously you can contact her to do this for live events. You can contact me, the boss, the agent. 
Contact me, as you can see, she's wonderful with this, and she's making a pirate sword. Yeah. That's very impressive. Okay, okay, well, hang on, hang on, hang on. I'll do the normal sword. Ja! Cool, thank you very much, my wife, for coming on to my show, our show. And I hope you guys enjoyed the balloons. Come as Christ Swarder. There we go. Thank you very much. I'm going to end off the show now with a trick for the outro. Let's see if I can do something with balloons. Say bye for the main, sir. Bye. All right, so this is the part of the show where we pay tribute to magicians from the past and also the present. From all over the world, any country. And the next magician I would like to give a special shout out to, as I can say, is a magician he lived many years ago. I don't even know how old he would used to, or how old he would be today if he still was alive. TC Ransom. He invented a trick with a balloon. And having a balloon theme today, I actually have some balloons over here. This is a it's not a normal balloon. This is a magic balloon. Why? Very easy. It's magic because you can stretch it horizontal and vertical. Tonight in your bed, you'll catch all the jokes. Don't worry about it. So, I'm going to just try and blow up this balloon. All the kids, if you're sitting on the couch now, I'm going to invite you to come a little bit closer. Come to the front of the TV screen or the computer screen. Doesn't matter, matter where you're watching. Just come to the front. I'm waiting for you. There we go. All right, check this out. Okay, kids, you're going to love this. Watch here. Would you like it to be a little bit bigger, though? Bigger? Okay, fine, fine. Watch, watch, watch. Gross, who was that? That was your dad, wasn't it? Oh, no, it was your mom. Oh, no, sorry, it was me. I apologize. Anyway, okay, here we go. Come closer. Okay, that's big enough. Right, so we have a... You want it bigger. No. <laughs> you, okay, fine, we'll do it bigger. <gasps> That's big enough. That go okay, just put your hand in the air if you'd like me to do it. Do you want it big? Okay, we'll do it bigger. <gasps> That's big enough. All right, so watch it. What we're going to do is we're going to tie a little knot over here. And then I'm going to take the balloon. I'm going to end the show off with a bang. One of my favorite tricks. Watch it. I'll take the balloon and at... Hey, come back. <laughs> Sorry. And uh, yeah, 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 come back, come back. And as I take this balloon, we're gonna drop. Sorry, it's floating away. Okay. So, to end the show off with a bang, I'll take a magic wand, just like TC Ran Ransom did. He took the magic wand on three. He pushed the magic wand straight through the balloon, just like this. Bah! <laughs> Got you there. All right. So watch. Here we go. It's one. To end the show off with a bang. Two. Two and a half. <laughs> no, you're right. I don't think this is going to work. You know what? I'm going to use a magic wand that looks like a needle, but it's not a needle. See, it just looks like a needle, but it's not a needle. Is it? It feels like a needle as well. Now, because I'm a magician, I can take the needle and I can do this. I know, it's magic, eh? Hey? Oh, it worked. Okay. I was sweating there. All right. Watch, watch. A little bit of more magic. You blow in there. Pops through. Okay. Right. Now, if I pull this out too quickly, the needle sh will shoot towards you guys and go straight through the, th through the screen. No, no, it won't happen. Watch. Okay. I've never done this before, but I took a stab at it, as you can see. So, here we go. One. <laughs> Two, three. Right, and we'll take the balloon and we go one, two, three, and we pop it just like that. Now that's ending a show with a bang. Thank you very much, guys, for tuning in for It's a Kind of Magic. Please come and say hello on my social pages, www.amazingmagic.coza. You'll find all my social handles on there, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. <laughs>